Hello, my name is Wing Yen, and this is my teammate, Vadim. We are seniors from the Purdue University EC department representing the System on Chip Extension Technologies team, also known as Socket. Our team designs, integrates, and fabricates custom hardware module into a system on a chip. And our goal for the AFWorks Challenge is to design an energy-efficient SOC that is optimized for machine learning applications. This will enable proven software strategies to work on embedded systems, improving energy efficiency, security, and reliability. We plan to make microarchitectural design changes by taking advantage of sparsity, allowing us to skip up to 60% of instructions in signal processing subroutines. The ability to run machine learning applications would allow the device to perform inferences locally. And this is important because RF transmission takes up a large fraction of energy consumption on a device. The reduction of transmission would greatly improve device security because a device that is less dependent on the network would have a greatly reduced attack surface. Not only will the embedded system perform better at its task, its improved reliability through its onboard self-monitoring system could potentially detect faults and modify its behavior preemptively. Additionally, moving from our previous fabrication at 90 nanometers to 14 nanometers on top of our optimizations would allow devices to operate for years instead of weeks. And finally, our design aims to maintain a simple architecture to improve traceability and validation efforts. Our target application is structural health monitoring. And this applies both to vehicles or buildings or other kind of structures. But the primary goal for this is safety and security. For instance, in the situation of a vehicle, we'd be able to detect if something is wrong and alert the operator about this. And this could be either tampering or just a defect with the system. Now, being able to do this automatically is very important. Because first, if there's humans checking up on the device, there could be human error, and it could take a lot longer. So our specific target application is a distributed system of nodes, each performing inference locally on accelerometer data. Now, prior publications have shown that this is possible to pinpoint the exact location in a truss where there's a fault or, and react to that. So the main reason why we're pushing for this here is because by doing a low power system, we're able to really make great progress. For instance, it's possible to reach places in a vehicle where it's difficult to, do, to wire otherwise. For instance, if there's a moving part or something like that. Furthermore, if there's a large structure, it's easier to do coverage with distributed nodes that can each act independently rather than having to modify the structure and add additional wiring. Furthermore, this way we can address security not only within our chip, but outside of it as well, as having excess information about a system would be able to react to it and also make safe decisions. Our team is a highly motivated uh, group of 17 undergraduate members, five graduate members, with co-advisors, uh, Dr. Johnson and Dr. Swaby. We also have extensive faculty support from Dr. Rogers, Dr. Brumel, and Dr. Raghunathan. Our team has extensive knowledge and experience in VLSI, chip verification, computer architecture, and machine learning. In addition to faculty support, we also have support from the Indiana Innovation Institute's or INCUBE's Assure program. We've designed SOCs in the past, and we're excited to participate in the AFWorks Challenge, take advantage of the 14 nanometer process, and advance engineering further.